you turn the corner. The scene stretches out before you. A small stretch of road that uh, stretches out in front of your home is littered with bodies. Uh, probably about 12 dwarven individuals have just broken your front gate and are beginning to pour into the front part of the estate while you see no less than seven dead individuals who've been slaughtered in the street. A good amount of them you recognize as the uh, uh, Heaven's Tower agents that had been sitting out in front of your home, keeping an eye on it. You hear the shouts and hollers of the dwarven individuals as they push into your uh, estate grounds. What would you like to do? Um, can I tell how many of them there are in front of the gates? Uh, about 12. How tall are the walls? Uh, it's like uh, just above head, head height, so like 6 foot 6, six uh, 7 foot. If you had to, you could scramble over them. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Zephyr, we're going to vault the wall. Uh, get ready. We are going to try and ambush them from the other side. Uh, I'll help you ambush over and then... Do you see the numbers? I have an idea or two. Okay. He's going to, to put his back against the wall and uh, pay, make his hands into a cups to give you a little bit of a boost over. Darian is going to climb to the top and then hold his uh, lay across the top and he has, uh, extend his arm down back to Zephyr. All right, so Zephyr will take it and you guys will both get over. You're a little behind where the stable is, where the cart is normally kept. Uh, and from your position, go ahead and make a new stealth roll. Total of 15. All right. Good to know. As you drop down and uh, duck behind some of... My wife is dying in the other room, sorry. Give me a second. That she is. <laughs> Love her dearly. Anyways, as you drop down from the wall and uh, duck behind some wooden crates and other things that are at the back of the stable, you watch as the individuals begin to pour into uh, your home. They've made their way to the front door and are pounding furiously. Make a perception check. Uh, that is another 13. Perception makes it 16. All right, with the 16. Uh, a good amount of these individuals are dressed in the Benzoli garb. Uh, uh, light to medium armor. Uh, some of them actually have heavy armor as well as one or two individuals who more or less look like the caster from the previous night. Uh, as they all move up your stairs and begin pounding on your door, you do recognize one individual. You see Locke, Arabella, Madaloni. Out of the front, but a few, a few back. She looks a little haggard and worn. She is walking with the assistance of one of her other uh, dwarves, but the glint in her eyes, you barely catch her in profile, uh, speaks of determination and rage. Sorry, I thought she was about to speak. <laughs> I misheard that. <laughs> um, Darian is going to... Uh take a little bit of extra time. Uh, Zephyr is wearing armor, right? Zephyr is not. He's not. Okay. Zephyr is going to get a first level mage armor. Alright. I believe that's 13 plus dex. Correct. Alright. That is for the next eight hours. Please. A second. <laughs> Hold on. Let me think about this. He has an armor class of 17 now. And Darian is going to cast... Uh, where 
where did it go? Uh, mirror image on himself. All right. It's about this time that you can hear from your hidden position. It's a ram took. It's a ram took. What'd you like to do? How far away am I currently? You're uh, from the front door? Uh, yeah, from the front door, from the, the group as a whole. Probably like 80 feet from the front door, from the mass of the, the main mass of the group, probably about 60. Uh, that would going... not include uh, uh, would not include the lock. Okay. Um, Darian is going to gesture for Zephyr to move along the side of the house um, to try and remain a bit more invisible uh, as he kind of tries to flank. If possible. Uh, so you're going to try to flank whom? At the moment, you are actually already in a flanking position. Uh, if you make your way towards ah. the gate, you're behind them. Uh, the the idea was that uh, he would move along the side of the house, and Darian is standing in the open uh, front yard area. Uh, but since we're along the wall, I, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Darian's going to move a bit closer and is uh, readying himself for a fight. All right. You, you, from your position, you hear the lock say, break the door down, as one of the, uh, two of the dwarves begin to make, uh, bring a handheld uh, battering ram. And slam! That won't be necessary. Slam! much the entire group turns on their heel weapons drawn before uh the lock uh, from her elevated position ah mr ram took so happy to make your acquaintance once more today what can i do for you ah uh, well you see I came to burn your house down with you inside, but at the moment you ain't in there. Would you like to kindly oblige me, or am I going to have to ask my men here to make sure that you are inside? Seems a shame to burn down decent estates. Would make more That's sense. The foundations all strong and whatnot. I'm sure it'll be fine. It would make more sense to burn me down and then try and find the deed to the house and sell it for your own personal gain, would it not? Mr. Ramtook, I am giving you an option at the moment. You can either die here like a man, like you should have last night, or you can walk inside, be tied up, and have the house burned down around you. Which will it be? You seem to be blaming... Oh, God. <laughs> I am a freaking chameleon with accents, I swear. <laughs> you seem to be blaming me for uh, what the waiter did last night. Well, I'll be getting a hold of all your other friends here soon. For now, you are the easy one. You got the house, you got the land, you got the shop. Well, I wouldn't go back to the shop either, by the way. Yeah, that figures. I, uh, no, I don't think I will be heading inside. I, uh, I think it is you who will find yourself burning. And, uh, Darian is going to cast Storm Sphere upon the crowd. One of the dwarves is going to counterspell. What, uh, what level is it? It is... That is... Wait, Storm... Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that's my only... I didn't realize that's a fourth level. Uh, I'm going to say that's a fireball at third level. All right. Because I need that fourth level slot. 
does not go off. Can Darian now identify Mr. him? Ram took. Huh? Can Darian uh, identify which one is the caster? Uh, one of the uh, one of the individuals near her is dressed in darker robes. You can see that the sleeves have been pulled up, uh, and the forearms that are visible are heavily tattooed. Uh, there appears to be two or three individuals of this style uh, in this group. Okay. Uh, was she going to say something? I would like you to roll initiative for me. Naturally. <laughs> That's a natural 20. <laughs> That's good. You're going to need it. 22. All right. So... Arms, her, Sophia. Okay, so real quick, let me make some notes. Guardian, you to go first. That you try to cast a spell, and one of the dwarves, uh, with uh, his offhand, drags his hand through the air, and you watch as the air around him ripples and ripples around your hands as well and your spell is not does not go through what would you like to do varian chuckles uh a, a little bit agitatedly and uh reaches and opens his bag serve your master defend this home and hell yeah is going to summon the two skeleton boys all right a new initiative, or uh, they just go when you go. Uh, up to you, I guess. Um, yeah, they go after you. Okay. <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> I love that Hobbit and Forge are on the same page. <laughs> um, I need to double check them because they get buffs. <laughs> Music. Yes. <laughs> I am a level 7, so my skeletons have 27 hit points. Alright. So you pull them out. I'll say that's your action. You have a bonus action movement. Um... I'm gonna move anywhere. Uh... Darian's just going to ready his quarter staff. I don't have any other bonus actions I can really take. All right. In that case, the dwarves around you are going to go. With their movement, they're, uh, they're 60 feet away. You stepped out, though, so they're probably about 50 feet away. Uh, you're probably going to take two shots as the rest of them dash to get up next to you. So the first one... I need, I need that pulled up. A 17 to hit? Um, That is yeah. going to at least hit me. I need to... I'm going to have to constantly reference Misty's step here because I don't have it shorthanded right in front of me. Step is a bonus action, not a reaction. Sorry, not Misty step. Uh, Mirror image. Oh, right, yes. You have to roll, I believe, a d6. I have rolled an 8, so the first one will hit a mirror image. So that's one duplicate gone. Second attack. Uh, that is an 18. No, it's a 20 to hit. Oh, no. Yeah. I do not have so it. So roll another 20. 8 or higher. <laughs> that's an okay. Uh, I rolled a 9, so that second one will okay, also hit so a duplicate. that's the second one. You have one left. Oh. All right, now it has to be so That's 11. their turn. Right. Severe's movement speed. So you have no less than 6 dwarves around you. Uh, there's a large group past them, but they're all getting ready as opposed to anything else. Uh, Zephyr is going to run from the, from the barn and 
just make it in range to be able to attack the lock. He is going to take a reckless attack. Ooh, it's a good thing he did. That's a 15 to hit. That just misses, actually. Never mind. His swing goes wide as the lock deftly uh, sidesteps it. And now it's her turn. She's going to take two attacks against the fear. Oof. Both of those miss. That's a two and a four. Okay. Darian, it's your turn. You have a lot of dwarves around you. You have Zephyr about, uh, let's see, uh, 70 feet away from you, ahead of you, uh, by the front door, uh, right beside the lock. What would you like to do? Wish that I had a crossbow. <laughs> um, let's see. I totally forgot to roll for the mages. Um... Darian's going to let the skeletons uh, move a bit ahead of him and try to subtly cast uh, Mage Armor on himself. Because I probably should have done that. Is that concentration? It is not. Alright. Is that an action? It is an action. Alright. So you have a... a... Alright, hold on. You said you're moving? Uh... I'm not. I'm not moving. Um, since I'm assuming that the skeletons are kind of moving, you know, because action economy, um, the skeletons right. are moving ahead of me. So I'm. Darian is using gotcha. that to uh, hide himself a little bit while he casts, trying to uh, avoid the line of sight of the mages. Okay. Are your skeletons taking an action, or are they just moving? They are They're currently in the Sea of Dwarves. Say again? They're currently in a Sea of Dwarves. Uh, yeah, then they are just attacking the nearest thing. Alright, roll me a couple attacks. Okay. Um, they get a plus three to damage. Plus four to hit. Uh, 22 for the first one. That'll hit. That is a d6. Five plus my proficiency, so eight damage. Wait. Points of damage? Good to know. Sorry, ten points of damage. It's a plus two with a d6. All right. So the second one is going to roll... A natural 19. Ooh, that'll definitely hit. I assume they're attacking two different dwarves? Um, probably. It's just picking one guy out of the group and just going hand. They probably should, but Darian will issue that as a mental command on the next one because he wasn't specific enough and it would make more sense that they just kind of Fair ran enough. into the crowd. Uh, I actually rolled max damage, so 6, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright. Good to know. So that's your turn? E yes. Alright, now it's the dwarves' turn. A uh, couple of things real quick. reading some spells so one of them is going to cast magic missile at you oof Six, eight plus three is so you take 11 points of damage automatically from one of the uh, from one of the casters Uh, and the other one is going to cast Ray of Frost against you. You're going to have to roll to hit. Remind me how far I am. I'm still at 60, right? Uh, about. Uh, you're at 70 from them. Oh, okay. wait. So, yeah, that one's going to move forward to Pete. So you're 60 feet away from him. 
Uh, he rolls a, an 18 to hit. Yes. All right. So you take four points of cold damage, and your movement speed is reduced by 10 until the start of your next turn. You said four points? Four points. Uh, the doors around you, however, are going to try to grapple you. So two of them are going to go to grapple you, so that, uh, one is helping, the other is uh, making an athletics check. So go ahead and roll me an athletics or acrobatics check for an escape. That's another natural 20. <laughs> Ooh, that works. You I are like able to withstand those two. The other two who are behind you are also going to try. So make another athletics or acrobatics. That's a four. So that's a natural 17 on my end. So 23. No, 22. You are grappled. So you can't move. And attacks against you have advantage. But that... Uh, and... Probably one of them will take a shot at you with the arrow. Ooh, that's a natural 19, so that is a 24 to hit. Darian's going to reaction to Misty Step out of the grapple. Uh, Misty Step oh, it's a bonus action. Bonus Dang action. it. Dang it. Okay. Um, it's a. What did you say it was? A 24 to hit. Miss Mirror Image. My last one. Roll a d20. Yeah, leather higher. Nope, that's gonna hit me. All right, uh, make a con save for me. Duplicates AC. 10, 11, 12. Oh, so actually, okay. So worth noting that my duplicates mm -hmm. also have ACs that they have to meet. It's not autumn. Yeah, so, it's the same as yours, isn't it? Not anymore. Because I use major. Well, oh, yeah, yours is higher. But yes. I just have no. to remember that, even though I only have one left. So I need a con save. <laughs> I swear I'm not lying. It's another 20. <laughs> hey, that, that's good. That's good. You take half damage. So you take five points of poison damage. On top of ten points of piercing. I am at 8 health. Alright. Uh, it's now Zephyr's turn. He is himself going to try to grapple the lock. It's a natural 20, no lie. She rolled an 8. She is grappled and he is going to take a threatening stance. Uh, sword against her throat uh, and try to make sure uh, try to get everyone to stop fighting. Um, Alright, but it's her turn. She's going to try to break. And she does. She breaks it and kicks him away. Now it's your turn. What would you like to do, Darian? Um... What is what is the layout of everyone again now, at this point? So you got a, a mass of dwarves who have completely surrounded you. You have Zephyr up on your front steps with the lock and what appears to be two mages, one of which, uh, and a third who has stepped down from the steps a bit closer to you. Uh, you are currently grappled. You uh, Your movement speed is reduced by 10 if it wasn't already zero. And you have one mirror image up. Hmm. Oh, I can't do that though. Not. Um. So I I somehow ended up in the mass at this point then. Yeah, the mass has conglomerated around you. Okay. Um. I'm going to use my action to disengage. And. You are to... grappled. That's right. I am going to bonus action to Misty Step out. All right, where are you of the going? Group. Uh, 30 feet away. 
Uh, Direction? Are you moving towards the fear or back into the street? Uh, across the lawn. So parallel along the side of the gate. Okay. How how far Tell is the gate to the house? Uh, it's. Sixty or seventy feet. Okay, and so you're I'm going... positioned like sixty. To, you're sixty feet away from the house. Okay, that's plenty of room. Um, so thirty feet. I'm going to use my action to dash. Um, okay, you have forty feet of movement then because your movement speed is reduced by ten. Okay, and I am continuing in that direction, and I am attempting to have them give chase. Which, wait, you're running away from the house? I'm I'm running like parallel to the fence. Yeah. So I so the equivalent I'm running across the lawn essentially. In that case, it is now the dwarves' turn. So that should put me at seventy feet from the center. Okay. Uh, some of the dwarves are going to start moving in your direction, and you are going to get. A couple of shots from the crossbows. First one, a natural 20. All right. How many natural 20s is that in this combat alone? A lot. <laughs> Seven. All right, so yeah, ro <laughs> thank you. Uh, roll for the uh, mirror image. You I rolled a 13, 11. which means it's going to hit a mirror image, and it is going to hit its AC. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, so the second shot is 17. That's going to hit me. All right. I need a con save. Oh, shit. 12. That is not going to save. So you take a total of five points of piercing damage. And 12 points of poison damage, and you are poisoned. So that's 17 in total? 17 in total? Yeah. I am rolling death saves. All right, you hit the ground. <laughs> that's last we see of Darian for now. Rin, what are you up to? Um, have I reached the market? Uh... By this time, yeah, you've made it into the co uh, the college district. The college isn't necessarily in this part of the city. It actually uh, exists on an island north of this part of the city, but this is their main area of export. There are several markets that have a lot of uh, different magical artifacts for sale. Gotcha. You looking just for the ring of poison resistance, or literally anything of poison resistance? I'm also kind of keeping an ear to the ground for gossip regarding what went down at the docks. All right. Go ahead and make a perception check for that. <laughs> Not 20. <laughs> nice. Uh, you scoot your way through the market, uh, passing large, ornate shops, some small... Uh, little carts that uh, the vendor seems to wheel out every day or wheel from corner to corner to try to uh, catch shoppers. As you move through the city, there is a lot of talk, a lot of gossip. You hear things about how people believe that the Sultan is uh, beginning to uh, listen to some advice and counsel from Gwendolyn representatives that have been showing up recently. You hear that people believe that the emir has certainly sold his child to the devil to be able to maintain the amount of power that he has. Uh, you hear different bits and bobs about that. With a natural 20, there is nothing, there's nothing about the docks, which, to be fair, isn't terribly surprising as... Uh, as um, it is a mob thing, and most people aren't going to be talking about that in the open. 
But what you do hear is a name. As you walk past a group of people talking, you hear someone very audibly say the name Truma Dukas in mild conversation. Is the name familiar to me? Yeah. You're going to have to remind me because me forge and blanking. Okay. When you were up here? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, the, the mine owner, right? I know. Oh, shit. Is he the handler? He is the only name on your contract other than your own and your patrons. Oh, 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 yeah. I remember him now. <laughs> what, 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 what's up with Boy, uh, Boyland? Uh, are you asking what they're talking about? Yes. Uh, it appears to be something about the newest play that's been coming out. You hear the name Druma Dukas is uh, something or other. You very quickly lose the name of the play, but the name itself catches you. Interesting. He appears to still be in the city. Well, I might have to John Wilkes Booth this shit. <laughs> Man, my, my to-do list is getting so long. The phraseology appears to connect him as a playwright or someone who is like a producer of the play. Interesting. Which either means that he writes the plays or just per, uh, funds them. Either way, he is behind them. Alrighty. Well, if he funds them, then I can undercut him. If, I, if he produces them, I can run the jeopardy. Okay, yeah. I have... Make an investigation check for your shopping, though. Uh, you said perception? Uh, investigation. Investigation. Good job. Hey, he's... Uh, nope, 15. 15? Okay. Uh, looking around, you find several shops that have things of this sort. Uh, you do find one armorer who has... Uh, let me see here. It would be a breastplate of, uh, of poison resistance. Uh, however, it is comparable to the price of the uh, uh, studded leather armor. It's priced at about 1,800 gold pieces. I don't suppose I have savings, do I? <laughs> nope. Damn. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you said there's a breastplate that was ridiculously expensive. Is that all I found? Uh, you find a potion peddler who has a potion of poison resistance uh, that is uh, sitting at a pretty uh, 120 gold pieces. Ooh. How out in the Those, open is this? Potion? That would. Uh, uh, the, the potion peddler themselves has their own little, uh, how do I describe it, hole in the wall. Uh -huh. They're not one of the carts, but they're not one of the fancy places. I suppose what I'm asking is, from a thief's perspective, how vulnerable is this potion? <laughs> uh, it is, uh, so... Unfortunately, the way that this is set up is it is on the ground floor of a building. And on the inside, he has all of his wares on display, but you're not allowed inside. It's just a counter in the front, and he has them behind him. Interesting. So to get in, there's probably a door in the back where you can go over the counter, but Are that's the only way naturally to proficient inside. with whips? I don't know off the top of my head. 
Because I was just, I was sitting here thinking, it's like, you know, if I could get my hands on a whip, I could literally Indiana Jones this thing out of there. <laughs> it's a good roll, yeah. Oh, fuck, that'd be hilarious. That'd be really funny. Um, and later on, you also find a jeweler who has a ring of poison resistance that oh. is sitting at uh, 775 gold pieces. Oh. Uh, 775 electrum? I mean, sorry, uh, gold? A gold pieces, and some of that has to be paid in electrum for all of oh, these. Naturally. Uh, well, that ring's really what I'm looking for. It has it has to be a sizable sum, so the 25 gold pieces could probably cover what you need of the Electrum, but, yeah, you would still need the rest of the gold. Well, I can do up to 150 gold, and I've got 15 Electrum. An Electrum is... Uh, 1.5 gold pieces, if I remember correctly. So, fuck, now I have to do that. All right, hold on. 1.5 gold pieces, 10 electrum is 15 gold. Uh, 15 electrum is 20 gold. That sounds right-ish. Um, damn it. Okay, how vulnerable is this ring? Not very. This is one of the more fine establishments. They have their own security. You could pull it off. Middle of the day might be a little difficult. Uh, well, now we have... Ah, I, yes. Jesse has the, Jesse has I, the transfer yeah, rate for me. I, I just thought. Now we have a debate. Hmm. Uh, well, first things first, I guess. I subtly changed myself to look like a halfling. Okay. I mean, the dice gods have been on my side so far. Fuck it, let's go for it. Hell yeah. Two party death, two, two character deaths in the same day. Let's do it. <laughs> Good thing I've got a backup. Uh, what am I rolling, Hoss? All right, what are you doing? So, you are in a fine establishment, a high ceiling, uh, is decorated with a massive chandelier that describes the center uh, centerpiece of this whole building. Large pillars and columns hold up a vaulted ceiling, and all around you see glass cases filled with rings. Uh, you've had one of one of the store clerks show you this ring. Uh, it is a physical description. It is an amethyst. Uh, 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 golden ring with an am amethyst stone uh, laid into it. Uh, he gave you the price at that point in time, and at the moment he's just showing it to you. What would you like to do? How big is the case? The case is long. So, How size dimensions, it's like a really long coffin. Okay. So a halfling, you would say a halfling could fit in it? Definitely, if you were able to get inside. All right. Now, here's my question. <laughs> Misty Step is a line of sight spell. And this case <laughs> is made of glass. No. Can I Misty Step okay. into the case? <laughs> um, as a halfling, I mean, it wouldn't be comfortable. But I could do it. do it. Interest. How many rings are in this case now that I'm thinking oh, about there's, it? There's a handful. Probably in this section by itself, there are seven rings. Some of them aren't magical, though. Okay. Okay. I have a plan. <laughs> oh, this is too good. I love this. <laughs> I have a plan. All right. Uh, so I assume you uh, express your disinterest with the ring. Nope. Uh, my okay. face is like pressed against the glass. Like I'm like le like like so, yeah you know uh, uh enough... you you you've seen that scene in Harry Potter Dudley like uh, with the snake right uh huh oh yeah I'm pressed against the glass and then 
I cast Misty Step and make it, try and make it look like I fall through the glass into the case. Okay, go ahead and, and like, roll a sleight of hand check. And I'm like flailing around, yelling, like, uh, like oh, hold on, trying really to look. Quick. Uh, components for Misty Step are they verbal and somatic or just somatic? Uh, let me see. Spells, Misty Step. Uh, 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 just verbal. Okay. Uh, then. Yeah, still give me a slight hand check. Come on, baby. Natural 20, so 30 total. <laughs> so, so please do not press your face against the glass. It is very. Sir, sir! As you secure this and reef your inside the cage, flailing about like a beached fish. <laughs> In this time, I palm the ring and then as many rings as I can. Okay, make another sleight of hand check. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's a dirty 20. Okay. Oh, I'm. I, my, my chest hurts. <laughs> as, as you flail about on the inside, you, you're grabbing as many rings as you can. Uh, you see and through the glass you hear muffled security please please help please help uh, one of the uh, security guards who's dressed in just basic armor walks over uh, and uh, the the clerk makes known I cannot get him through the door if he's too small he just fell through somehow please, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like pressing my palms against the glass like I'm trying to get out uh, the security guard is going to look over it be very confused for a few minutes and say Sir, please cover your face! Please cover your face! Uh, I cover my face. <laughs> I'm going to take his club and smash the glass around you. <laughs> I tumble out. I, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like sobbing. <laughs> deck save. Uh, uh, a what save? A deck save? Can I deliberately fail it? Yes. I deliberately fail it. All right, you will take... Come on. Fours are so hard to pick up. Five points of uh, uh, slicing damage. All right. From the cut cutting glass, as you roll out onto the, the floor, uh, the clerk runs around, Sir, I'm so sorry, I do not know what happened, as he begins to clear the glass off of you. <laughs> Please, if there was anything I could do, I can uh, have someone, please, uh, security, please go and get one of the clerics from the uh, temple district. We're going to need some someone for the healing spells. You okay, sir? I, I'm, just, I'm just staggering towards the exit at this point. Oh, please, sir, let us do what we can to help you. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> Make a stealth check as you exit the building. Maybe twenty-five. Stepping out of the out of the building, you walk out onto the street, arms all cut up from the glass. As you <laughs> turn the corner, we watch as the camera pans, and as it passes a pillar that supports the far structure, you watch as this individual who is a halfling, bleeding, crying, immediately is this elegant elf as he walks down the street, regal in his form, head back. Hair flowing in the wind. A pocket full of rings. Heist in a century. <laughs> All right. So, what you have is you're supposed to go in my inventory. Uh, come here, my. Oh, there we go. Um, equipment. Manage equipment. Hit me. All right. So, you have the ring of poison resistance. As per the request. Poison resistance add. Okay. Looking at my list, give me a hot second. My lap my laptop is having the hardest time keeping all of this straight. Uh roll me a D one hundred. Uh alright. Twenty one. Twenty one? Okay. One of the rings that uh, you believe to be magical uh, 
taking a few minutes, you begin to identify some of these. You also have a ring of feather fall. Uh, feather falling. Okay. You would find <laughs> a ring of lightning resistance. Okay. And uh, four golden rings, each worth at least 100 gold pieces. Oh, Lord. What would you call that? Like a signet ring? Uh, no, they're just right. they're just golden bands. Uh, I'll find I'll find something to substitute that. Yeah. You can also make a note and just make a custom item in the bottom of the D and D page. Yeah. Uh, you said four uh one hundred gold uh rings. Hundred gold pieces each. One hundred each. Okay. From behind you, you you hear a clatter as the uh. As the gentleman who had been helping you walks out to look around, uh, sees you, but doesn't recognize you whatsoever as he begins to shout into the street, Thief! Thief! Find the halfling! Find the halfling! Find the halfling! Fantastic. You successfully escaped. Liberty, are you doing anything right now? <laughs> No, I am sitting at the safe house, politely declining conversation as I wait for the guys to get back so I can go check in with my kids because I've missed story time uh, another night. And we'll continue to do so. And no one's told me that anything could possibly be going wrong out there. Oh... The temptation to leave it here and leave Darian hanging is immense. Possibly literally. <laughs> but I won't do that. Because it's going to be two weeks. Aw, you're such a nice guy. Hi. Don't oh, hurt me. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Oh, I've already hurt you. It's fine. Terribly. I am in the process of actively dying. <laughs> 